Nabil Khalil is the owner of Bouquet Plaza Liquor in Santa Clarita, California. And every day, he deals with a problem that has vexed liquor store owners for years. We always have a teenager trying to come and buy alcohol. We always refuse the sale. But as far as I'm concerned, no business should ever have to turn away a paying customer. So I paid Nabil a visit to help him out. Every time you turn away a teenager who's trying to buy alcohol, you're losing a sale. Yes, because that's what the law is. So from now on, you allow them to purchase it, but they just can't take it home until they're 21. The main reason teenagers want booze is to look cool to their friends. So if Nabil let minors purchase alcohol but then held it in a storage locker until their 21st birthday, Bouquet Plaza Liquor would gain a ton of new underage customers who could then brag to their friends that they own booze. The plan? Increase business by selling alcohol to minors. Could be, could be possible, but when you get close to that age, definitely you don't want a voucher that says, oh yes, I own a couple of bars of liquor, but where they are. So they want to have it. Well, no offense, but you know, I'm a bit closer to my teenage years than you are. So I think I know what uh, youth these days want. If they get the happiness of, yes, I have it, that would be great. With Nabil on board, I created some tags that would work like a coat check system for alcohol, so miners could reclaim their booze from storage once they turned 21. Now I had to get the word out to young people, so I arranged a meeting with the chair of a local youth Little League in the hopes of landing a sponsorship deal. Do you seriously are th talking about putting a, a banner that says we sell liquor to minors? These minors don't actually get to take home the alcohol mm -hmm. till they're 21. I, I do understand it, but I'm not sure that I agree with tying that up to our little league. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't know if this helps in any way, but we'd also be willing to offer a free bottle of gin to every kid in the league. No, I'm sorry. Thank you for your time, then. Well, thank you for your offer. Yeah. I'm sure it'll work out. Oh, no. What? What is, what is this for? This is, what? What is this for? So oh, no, no, no. No, no. Thank you very much, though. Are you sure? Let me show you up. No, no. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. We're done. With sponsorship off the table, I needed a different way to reach the youth market. So I hired a teen actor to pose as a student to get the word spreading at a local high school. So right off the bat, you know, before you talk about the liquor store or anything, you got to establish a rapport so the the teens you're talking to think you're cool. Okay. So maybe talk about how school sucks, you know, or a bit about how the internet's awesome or something, and throw in some swear words too. So try that. Hey man, what's up? Hey, dude, that internet these days is so dope, man. School sucks, dude. You can just go on the stinging internet. With Connor trained, I gave him a backwards hat and sunglasses so he would look cooler. Then I sent him onto school property to begin spreading the word. So, how about that internet, man? What's up? All the teacher sucks, but the internet rules, you know. So anyways, I got this cool tip. This is liquor store down the block. It's called Bouquet Plaza Liquor Store. And it sells alcohol to minors. Okay, I gotta go back to skipping class. With Connor working the school, I headed back to Bouquet Plaza, ready to receive our underage customers. And within minutes, they began to arrive. Did you read the sign outside? That's, did you, That's real? Did you, yeah, yeah. 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 You, you can go grab some yourself some want. alcohol or something? <laughs> I mean, I guess so. <laughs> Look what you got. Wow, I'm uh -huh. on. Look at that. 40 ounce. Wow. That's a huge buddy. Hey, like you're going to start awesome. heavy, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you own this now. Yeah, it's pretty tight. sweet. Right. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> so close. You get a claim check, so you're allowed to come back and claim it when you're 21. Yeah, but <laughs> I want it for right now. I don't want it two years later. With no refunds allowed, the miners had no other option but to fill out the claim check, allowing them to own alcohol without the consequences of consuming it. What you're doing is weak. That sucks. <laughs> it's cool and legal. Breaking the law is never cool. Seems like a waste of money to me. <laughs> My plan was working, and Nabil was now able to sell to a whole new type of customer. Why did, why did I even just pay for this? Because you're allowed to own the alcohol. Okay, but I don't want to own the alcohol. I want the alcohol. Knowing that some teens wouldn't be satisfied leaving empty-handed, I had a corner of Nabil's store converted to look like a cool basement, so miners could take photos with their alcohol before it goes into storage that would help them brag to their friends. It felt great to make young people happy while teaching them about responsible drinking. So after closing up for the night, 
it broke my heart that I had to give Nabil some terrible news. I looked into it and it turns out that what we were doing was extremely illegal. And, you know, I gotta look out for myself. I'm sorry. Good evening, sir. Are you yes. the owner of this business? Yes, sir. Hi. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to place you under arrest. Why? What's going on, sir? Am I for doing, doing good on? business. <laughs> You're not in trouble at all. I was joking. So really, it does work out? Yeah, it's not illegal. Okay. I mean, he's not a real cop. He's a, he's a stripper. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't matter. But you bring a stripper to a businessman, it doesn't really get good idea at all. Oh, you don't like it? Not at all. Like, well, okay. it was a joke, you, you know, if you thought he was a cop, you know. That's what I'm saying. Even if it's going to be a joke, Nathan, to bring a businessman, bring him like a stripper, a guy stripper, it's not really going to be the cool thing to have. All right. 